Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The group expert is useful for creating multiple groupings on the fields within a report and setting all of the necessary properties while you are performing that task. It is also useful to note that you can create a single data grouping within a report by simply clicking the insert group button that appears within the insert toolbar or by choosing insert from the menu bar and then simply choosing the group command. Doing either of these activities will then launch the Insert Group dialog box, which presents us with the same grouping options that we saw in the Change Group Options dialog box. You can use the tabs available here to set the grouping options that you want to apply, and then simply click the OK button to set the new grouping in the report. Now you can also edit and delete groupings that you have created in the design view if you prefer not to use the group expert for some reason. You can edit a grouping that has been created by simply right clicking the name of the group header or footer that you want to edit or delete. From the pop-up menu that appears, you can then choose the Change Group command to relaunch the Change Group Options dialog box where you can make any editing changes as needed and then click the OK button to apply them. Now note that if you select the Delete Group command from the pop-up menu that appears when you right-click on a grouping within Design View, then the grouping will be removed from the report. Now also note that if you have multiple groupings applied, you can also easily reorder the groups by simply clicking and dragging the group header and or group footer of the group that you want to move and then releasing it in the desired position within the group headers and footers that are listed at the left side of the design view of a report. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.